the COVID-19 pandemic may be fading in the United States, but in its wake, it leaves roughly 600,000 lives lost due to the virus. As many families and friends are finding ways to honor their lost loved ones, a local artist is offering to help. Robert Markey is painting portraits of people who have died from COVID-19, and he's doing it for free. Connecting Points Ross Lipman visited Markey's studio to see his work and to learn about the remarkable life led by one of his most recent subjects, former Springfield resident Francis Borden Hubbard. Deep in the woods of Ashfield, where the mornings are calm and quiet, Robert Markey heads into his studio. On his easel is a photo and an empty canvas. Markey is a portrait artist, and just as he has with countless faces before, he will slowly bring this picture of Francis Borden Hubbard to life. When I asked to do the portrait, I asked for information about the person, so I know, kind of know who they are, and I asked for you know, a few high-resolution photos so I can kind of, because I've never painted anyone that I haven't known before. And he'll never get to know Francis. She died on April 11th, 2020 from COVID-19. I'll do this and then I'll change it a little bit and then come back tomorrow to repaint it. This is Robert's most recent project. Every person he's painted over the last few months has died from COVID. I just wanted to do something that helped people. So I put something up on Facebook and uh, I got, I think I got three responses. I have a friend who, sister died, I have a friend, and so I started doing it. And it felt like, it felt really good. From there, word spread of Marky's portraits and more requests came for him to paint loved ones lost during the pandemic. There was Sandy Polanski, Ruth McBride, Frank Bush, and Brittany Bruner Ringo. But today he's painting Francis, a woman who touched many lives as a public health official and advocate. She was a wonderful storyteller, but most, you know, most importantly, she was a mentor to me. Including Teresa Glenn. Um, I met her when she came to my class at the University of Massachusetts uh, School of Public Health. Frances was asked to come and speak to the class. She talked a lot about her experiences as an organizer, and I just, I loved her. I just immediately thought, this is an amazing person that, you know, I would love to work with, I would love to get to know. She eventually moved to Springfield and became a public health official for the city, at one point serving as its HIV AIDS director in the 1990s. That's where she became Teresa's mentor and longtime friend. She believed in the power and ability of communities to change um, health conditions, and she also felt like in a city like Springfield, it's like there's an emergency all the time. You know, there are people that are, are without food. There are people that are, have very serious health conditions. It's like having, having a fire, you know, that's, that's happening all the time. But the most important relationship in Frances's life was with her son, Scott. She moved to Springfield in order to help Scott raise his children. When Frances died, there could not be a funeral. Instead, an online vigil was held for nearly three hours. My mother was truly my best friend, my confidant, my hero, my mentor, my coach. She was my everything, and we had a unique, beautiful relationship. Teresa asked Mark and what she's wearing, so to paint Francis. She's trying to make sure it makes some sense. So that she could give the portrait to Scott. I know how heartbroken I am, and I know how heartbroken her son is, and I thought it would be really nice to have the painting and give it to her son. Um, and so that inspired me even more. I'm excited to see what his, how he's created this, this portrait of this person that I so love and appreciate. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it does. Oh my gosh, that is so lovely. 
Oh man, you did such a beautiful job. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank it's gonna you. make me cry. It's beautiful. I'm always nervous when someone comes in to see it. Did I do it right? Did no, I, you, it okay? you so, did. You, you did. I'm it's glad. beautiful. Francis Borden Hubbard lived a full life. I'm so impressed. Love the, the her face. She looks so so happy. And while a painting can't bring her back, it can certainly keep her memory alive. Part of me was not sure I wanted to connect the memory of her with the painting and the memory of her death, of dying of, of COVID. I wanted to remember her from days that we spent, you know, together doing things and working together, which is a lot of what we did. I didn't want to remember her as, as a hero in, in a pandemic. I wanted to remember her as Francis, who was a beloved friend and mentor.